Honoring those lost to gunfire. Dozens of families gathered to honor their loved ones who were victims of violence. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Joe Burke. And I'm Joy Redmond. The 13th annual Season of Remembrance was hosted tonight by the Shelby County District Attorney's Office to honor homicide victims in the county. Action News 5's Imani Williams was there and spoke with the family. Good evening. Names and faces were put to those numbers that we constantly see of people who are killed throughout the year. Now, families say they feel like tonight made them feel like they mattered here in Memphis and that their loved ones are remembered even after tragedy. The ring of a bell and placement of a handmade Dallas Cowboys Christmas ornament are how the Cavett family honored Nicholas Cavett Sr., who was killed December 5th, 2022. Nicholas was an outgoing, friendly, lovable young man. He was 44 years old when he was killed. The Cavets are just one of the dozens of families who lined up with ornaments at the Season of Remembrance ceremony to honor their loved ones who are homicide victims. Weeks before this year is over, MPD confirmed 2023 homicide numbers surpassed the 2021 homicide record of 342. Fathers, daughters, mothers, and nieces all are a part of the 359 homicides MPD reports in Memphis this year alone. Many, like the Cavits, are still waiting for justice. Well, we're still away working with the sergeant. Don't know where the case is at this point. Um, evidence has been turned in and I, he's processing and we're just waiting to hear. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy said his office is working to make sure each family gets that closure. You know, violence is the top priority of this office and homicide is the worst of all offenses. And we're going to do everything we can in that case and in every other case we have this pending to make sure that justice is done. He said it first starts with the rest, then prosecution. My instruction is if someone points a gun at another human being and pulls the trigger, regardless of what happens afterwards, straight probation is not going to be our option. Absent extraordinary circumstances, they're going to have to do serious prison time. Now, Mulroy said that he is working with uh, local officials and other area agencies to work on a plan to reduce crime. Now, he even said that he's been speaking with Mayor-elect Paul Young on priorities involving crime. Live in downtown Memphis, Imani Williams, Action News 5.